Welcome back. So in the last two videos, we've taken um, images that were found online and we've used them as reference to create some very simple um, two dimensional kind of like uh, fruit shapes. Um, and we've got a lemon and we've got a melon. So in this this video, we're going to I'm gonna show you how to make them into a pattern. So to do that, first of all, we're going to add a new artboard and give us some space to work. And then we're going to copy and paste the lemon over first of all, because we're going to create the, the lemon pattern first. And then we'll do the melon and then we'll do a combination of the two. So here we've got um, a lemon and to make a pattern, it's very, very simple. So you select the lemon and go to object pattern make it's so simple you said I can't believe it so you'll get an example of what the pattern is going to look like and there's different ways of organizing the, the actual um, object so at the moment it's grid which looks a bit regimented then you can do brick by row you can do brick by column then you've got a width and a height and so at the moment you can like if I scale this down, actually have you notice that a lot? So I haven't grouped the, the leaves and the uh lemon segment. So let me just group them together. And if I uh shift and drag, you'll see that because I've shifted and dragged it, it's changed the way the pattern looks. If I make this bigger, you'll see that it fills the space a lot more. So you can change the object, which is the reason why I've copied and pasted it and not just used the one that I originally created. So the one I originally created is okay, it's back there. This one's just purely for the pattern. So you can change its shape and if you want to um, change the position of it, you can you click on this little size, size tile to art and then you can use this to um, change the position manually. So if you want a 10 millimeters gap between them, you can do it like that. When you're happy, you can just click, I'm going to sneeze. Um, when you're happy, just click on done. And you go, where's my pattern gone? I've just created a pattern, it's disappeared, where's it gone? Well, it hasn't gone anywhere, it's gone into your swatches. So you're familiar with these swatches that are in here, but they're also over here. So if you just move that um, to one side, and if I draw a square or a rectangle now, and I click on the pattern that I've just created. Wait for the magic. Boom. We've now got a pattern. And we've got the pattern that we created. And if you want to change that pattern, we can double click on it and we can change whatever we want. So if you want to make those a bit bigger, oops, rotated it. So let's make those a little bit bigger and change the spacing. So eight by eight done that will change this pattern here I think it has so we've got a pattern so once you've got a pattern you can scale it so you can pull it in um, if you drag it it will squish it it will squash it so I'll stretch it I should say um, so it's probably best that you don't do that because um, I always think that when things get squashed and squished or stretched they look a little bit rubbish um, so let's just redraw that it's better to, as you can see, that's uh, pulled that across for some strange reason. Has that changed the pattern? I wonder. Probably a reason why you don't do it. Um, so yeah, don't squash and squish because it looks like it changes the pattern. Let's just go back in time. There we go. So if you do want to make the shape, the shape of the, the box smaller or bigger, use the direct selection tool. So select the points you want to move and then drag them. Select the points you want to move and drag them. So don't use your direct tool, your, sorry, your move tool, your selection tool. Use your direct selection tool if you want to make your, the size of your pattern bigger. So there's there's a lemon. That one's quite cool. So that's an artboard. And let's this time do a melon. Oops. Copy it, paste it. So I think it looks a little bit boring sat that 
like that. So I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees to give it like, put it on an angle because it looks a little bit more interesting that way. Melons are bigger than lemons, so we're just going to, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, but not too much smaller. And then let's make a pattern out of this. So again, object, pattern, make. You see it's added it already to the, the, the pattern there. So there's the lemon one, that's the, the melon one. And we can do the same thing again. We can go through the same uh, process of changing the type. So brick by column. And then think about the size. So the sizes look a little bit too big, don't they? So let's just uh, scale that down. It looks like it, it goes out of its group once it's in a pattern by the looks of it. I've never noticed that before. Okay, so we don't want them touching really, do we? We want them like, that. Look, I think that looks okay. That looks good. Done. Let's just move that to one side. And then let's draw a square. And then melons. So they're looking a little bit small, I think, in comparison to the lemons. The lemons are looking a bit bigger. So I think we need to make the, the melon a little bit bigger. Um, now there's one way of doing this. Uh, well, no, let's 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 do it this way. So let's edit the pattern and let's just make the melons a bit bigger. And then let's change the spacing. So let's add some spacing. Let's go with that. Done. So there we go. It's looking a little bit bigger now. So let's draw a square that's looking good and then just scale it down a little bit and there we go there we've got our pattern so they're looking good so happy with that happy with those so I'm just gonna pop them both on the same artboard so I'm just gonna scale them both down again remember to hold shift down when you when you're doing these scales to get them in the right place and I'm just gonna copy and paste them because we continually copy and paste rather than delete or adjust. So what happens if we put a color behind them? So let's see what happens if we put some color behind these now. So let's um, put a blue behind it. Obviously this isn't going to work, but let's just get in position first. Objects, range, center back. Oh, it looks, don't look too bad. Um, but we need to sort of like think about the colors that we're working with. So we've got lemon, yellow, we've got green. So maybe sort of like a either a green color or a yellow color might be nice. Or an orange. Maybe that's a bit too looking like an orange now. Let's go back to lemon. And then let's just change the shade of it a little bit. So it's it's high up on the, the value scale here. So let's bring the value scale down. As you can see it's getting lighter. And let's go for a pale a pale yellow. That looks like lemon. Let's copy that and paste it. Let's stick it behind the melon. Let's see what that looks like. So object, arrange, centre back. That doesn't look too bad, I suppose, but I'm thinking it maybe could do with a different colour. So let's try a different colour. So let's try a, a greeny colour. That looks okay. That's probably losing a bit of this. So let's just change that down in terms of Tone. So we want to draw a straight line between there and there, and give it a colour. Let's have a go. That's looking nice. I like that. A little bit, little bit less, a bit, bit whiter. I will get used to these um, shortcut keys eventually. Just want to get rid of that so we don't lose the edges of that, and then move this one as well. There we go, that's better. So there we've got two patterns. Um, we've got a, a lemon and we've got a melon. And I think they look really quite nice. So we've gone from some images and we've created our drawings, our illustrations. We've made some patterns and we've even improved them by adding some color behind them to make them even more interesting. Um, the last one we're going to do is a a combination of two objects in our pattern. So let's add an artboard. And this time we're going to use the lemon. Copy, 
paste and the melon copy paste so what we want to do is we want to get these so that they're proportionally correct for what we want so the melon I know they're not going to be exactly proportionally correct but we don't we want the melon to be bigger than the lemon so let's just position that like so for the time being we can always change this so let's group those object pattern make Ta -da. and it looks a bit odd with them like all in line so let's change that to brick by row no let's try brick by column that looks interesting I love how this diagonal line from the um, melons working this is quite nice you can adjust the position so you can move these little bits if you want to think okay I want it to be in the gap in between you can reposition these but that's looking really nice it's looking quite an interesting pattern that I like that um, and click done so again, if we now draw a box and we add this one, look at that. That is looking really nice. Uh, let's go for the the blue background. Let's see what it looks like. Let's just pop that in there. Object, arrange, center back. And then try the lemon oil, copy, paste. And we can see what they look like side by side. So we can see which one works the best. And then object arrange center back. So I think probably the bluey background works better overall because the lemon stands out better. There's more contrast when it's on the, the lighter yellow background. The lemon just disappears a little bit. It works on that one because lemon is quite light anyway. Um, but certainly there's more contrast and you can see the shapes a little better on that one. So um, another outboard. And then copy that over. Copy paste. And then we can get rid of the, the lemon bit. And then we can bring across that and we can say we are now happy with our pattern. And that is our finished fruit based illustration pattern fanfare round of applause whatever insert here in the next video we'll we'll look at how we can move this forward using our type